hello everyone today we are going to look at solar collectors so what is this solar collectors means the solar collectors are collecting solar radiation and providing the heat energy so simply we can say the solar collectors are transforming the solar radiation into heat energy so this is the the solar collectors is look like so i didn't see this uh, solar collectors in uh, in uh, sri lanka and i have seen these solar collectors in australia and uh, some other countries so reason why we in sri lanka we are not using much of hot water for our daily consumption daily purpose so the solar collectors are not famous in sri lanka because of this reason but if industries they want to uh, have a hot water for some processing needs they may recommend to install the solar collectors i mean it's it's recommended to install the solar collectors rather than installing the solar panels so first thing we have to understand that what is the difference between these solar pv photovoltaic panels and the solar collectors we have been studying about solar panels for last 6 months so solar photovoltaic panels uh, we know already that it convert the solar radiation into direct electricity i mean is a is a way of producing the direct electricity so is a simply is a way of producing the electricity but solar collector is the only produce thermal energy we don't produce electricity we just produce thermal energy in other words we are storing the thermal energy which is available in the sun sun is emitting radiation so it's already is hot the, the the energy is available we are we are collecting that energy the thermal energy and store it in the water or any the liquid anything so it's simply the beauty of solar collector is mean there is no the conversion losses in in solar panels so there are a lot of um, energy losses when uh, generating electricity then we have to transform dc current into ac current then we have to use it in our house so simple you can imagine that uh, you want to get a hot water so what you are doing you are using the the water heater hot water heater in in my house we have a hot water heaters so we are, uh, plug in into the electric electric uh, uh, supply and uh, get the water heater Um, get heated so wh- what are the energy conversion here we are generating electricity from solar panels then the solar panels electricity dc current has to be converted into ac current through the inverter then the current coming to our house so the wiring losses and the conversion losses and the efficiency losses all included at the end we are getting the hot water so rather than doing this but It's a, it's a recommended way is to install the solar collector so solar collector directly can heat your water simply solar collectors directly can heat your water without creating or generating electricity so there is no process of generating electricity just the process of heating the water so the the um, the use of solar collectors provide alternative for traditional domestic water heating so this is a simple purpose is to domestic hot water heating so uh, as i said earlier in asian houses and sri lankan indian houses we don't use so much of the water heating because we are in the hot country hot weather uh, country but the people who are living in the cold weather london canada and um, as um, some season in australia they need a hot water and they w- the the heating of the the environment like the room heating so those uh, purpose they are using the <coughs> solar collectors so so what are the types of solar collectors the flat plate collectors there are four types so first one is flat plate collectors 
evacuated tube collectors, line focus collectors, and point focus collectors. We will look at one by one. Uh, first, we will look at one, then the next video we will look at the others in a separate videos. So first is the first one is a flat plate collectors. So the collectors are simply a metal boxes that have transparent glassing as a cover on top of the dark colored absorber plate. Usually copper or aluminium is a good conductor. So what is happening here? We simply we are sending the cold water here and we are getting the hot water from the collector. This is a flat plate collector. What is happening? This is a pipe here, the, like a water, uh, the pipes. But the, the beauty is here, the, there's a glass plate. So there's a glass plate that's covering all these internal tubes. So these are the internal tubes passing the water. Or you can use a liquid or anything to heat up. So this, <coughs> the, the plate, is covering this so this this uh, entire structure within this uh, uh, glass plate so covered with the insulated minimum so the bottom of the side is covered with the insulated because we don't want to uh, release the heat to atmosphere so the idea is that the the glass plate going to absorb the heat whatever possible it can absorb the heat solar radiation through the solar radiation and pass it to the, these tubes these are the tubes then these tubes will generate the hot water so this is the idea so, so if we go deeper into the the, the structure of uh, the uh, this appliance of uh, water flat plate collectors it has a transparent screen there's a glass screen usually usually is a glass screen so it's transparent green so that's because it has to absorb the solar radiation that's why we have this transparent screen then the black absorber this is the absorber there's a plate we keep here to absorb all the heat it has to there's a black plate the black color because it's absorb more heat so absorb all the heat and transform into the fluid tubes these are the tubes this is a the front view of the tubes so this is a uh, fluid tubes fluid or water so so this uh, black absorber this black absorber transfer all the collected heat energy thermal energy into the water passing through these tubes then the wa water get heated so we got the hot water so the output is a hot water so the main components are the transparent cover the glass and absorber plates that's a black color the absorber plate and the tube carrying heat fluid so these are the tubes and these are the tubes carrying the fluid and insulation In the bottom we have to have insulation because otherwise the heat will remove from the bottom of the so we don't want the heat heat to come out like this so we put the, the insulation thermal insulation in the bottom side of the the setup we can say setup or the appliances okay then the casing this is the entire casing so this is the structure of the flat plate collectors so this is another good picture the very nice picture so um, solar collectors collect capture solar energy and uses that energy to heat water in the home for bathing washing heating can even use for heat outdoor swimming pools so that's why we said like in uh, um, uh, is mostly used in developed countries like Australia Canada or, um, London because they are using the uh, hot water for bathing they use a hot water bath washing they use a hot water and they need a heating of uh, the house heating of the house is important for during the winter season so that's why the flat plate collectors are very famous however for Sri Lankan context or Asian context it is applicable for many industries where they use a 
hot water for many processes some uh, food uh, industries uh, factories uh, they, many industries they are using hot water and here if you look at here this is a cold water in <coughs> they have the pipe the big pipe it's it has a water cold water in then it's connected the pipe is connected here and at the end and the pipe is there it's kind of setup we can have a, a different way of setup and this uh, pipe uh, collect all the hot water coming from all each pipes tubes or pipe or tubes and bring it a uh, hot water out so this is a and the glass screen the glass screen is kind of glass material and the back sides uh, absorber plate and the insulations everything is insulations in the back sides in the bottom with the insulation and the here absorber plates so all these elements are there so uh, that's all for today so the application point of view hot water the the, the solar collector is uh, used to produce hot water used to produce heat used to store heat so wherever you need simple in simple way if you want to install wherever you need hot water for your process instead of having the solar panels you can have the solar collectors because solar collectors directly uh, make the uh, make the hot water or produce a thermal energy thank you very much please subscribe this channel and continue support